Just like in the reading section, don't let charts, graphs, complicated looking stories in math overwhelm you. They're probably very easy. In fact, most of the time, it's just about following directions and finding the right part of the chart that we want to use in the question. So skipping the chart for a second, let's go right to the question itself. The table gives the results of a survey of 200 people who are asked how often they see a movie in a theater. How many people responded either never or almost never, right? So just telling us to find two rows here, and they're actually on my screen. I should zoom out and just make sure. But yeah, this is just the almost never and never rows. And we just take those two numbers and we add them up. Here, I would just get my uh, regular handheld calculator, 53 plus 29, that is 82, and that is the answer. There's not much more to this question. I mean, this is the first question. Uh, it is the easy module. We wouldn't know that necessarily right now because we would just be at the first question. But even in the hard module, there are gonna be things that are this straightforward. So. Oh, there are always a few points that you can get, even if you're terrible at math, because all you have to do sometimes is just follow instructions. As we move later in the section, the questions will get harder. So try to just be really, really careful in the early parts of both of the math modules so you can just lock in as many of these easy points as possible. It is the best way to just get a solid foundation for your score. And then when you get to the harder questions, you can always skip around and pick out the ones that are easy for you.